historic numbers of elephants running here in Florida. Hunting the penguin. I just want you to take me to the nearest gas station. Okay, no problem. Start with it. Tampa is one of the most dangerous cities in the world. We've already gone over some of the most elite self-defense techniques, and today we brought out the expert. We're gonna be doing it in an interesting fashion, so it's gonna be the three of us participating in the formal training from Dale of the Detroit Urban Survival Threat Management Group Turbo Mode. I'm basically the worst participant, so this is beginner level. This is intermediate. Rex has formal training in every martial arts on the planet, special ops, secret forces. So basically, if I'm coming at him, it's gonna be defending against the middle schooler. Caleb, probably like your average criminal. And then Rex, you're getting hunted by the boogeyman. That's ultra nightmare mode. So we've got Dale here. We're gonna really put him to the ultimate test today. Detroit Urban Survival Training, here in Florida. All right, so you wanna start with the, the Glock then? Let's do the sure. Glock. Okay. Start with the Glock. This is a real Glock. So, for all you volunteer ATF agents, um, this is a chamber flag. This is a real gun. However, comma, we got no live rounds here. Everybody's been checked. No live rounds in the building. No live rounds. This chamber flag actually goes into the barrel, so you know there's nothing in there. I'll stick my finger in there. You want to go ahead and check it? Clear. Charlie, you want to go ahead and check it? Oh, yeah, she's empty. All right. So we're going to do what we did in our video. We're going to start with uh, assailants coming at you. And since it's Florida, maybe they're a little under the influence of bath salts. So they're a little wacky. They got the gun at you. How do you get out of this situation? They don't want to just bargain. They want to kill you. So okay. it's disarming them, getting away from them. It's going to be me, then Caleb doing it, then Rex. And then after okay. that, we'll try and do it to you. In okay. Techniques. All right, take your weapon, Charles. Give me the... And, and go stand, Cut. like, over there. And face down. Okay. So this way, right? Yep. We're about to safe handle. Alright. <laughs> oh, where's your uh, kids? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You gotta pull the trigger. Yeah. So, right. so, so you know it would fire. Okay. okay Try it. Okay. Okay. Same thing. Your kids! No. Yeah, it did fire. <laughs> But when it fired, I was off to the side. All right, hold so the, re the reason why is because when I saw the weapon coming, I stepped offside, offline, and redirected, and that's when he actually fired. So he already made the he already made the um, decision to fire as soon as it came out, which does happen. Okay, Charlie, take two steps back. All right. And then, oh, now okay. what would happen? Yeah. So from okay. here, I'm, like, yeah, I, that's what I was wondering. So if I'm coming at you and I'm like showing and I'm like yep. down here, but I have so much time. Yes, and I would get shot probably. Yeah. <laughs> but because I'm going forward, I'll probably not get shot a lot. Sure. Whereas if oh, I yeah. went backwards, I would probably get shot more. What you're doing, everything you do when you're disarming or whenever you are defending yourself, is either increasing or decreasing your likelihood of survivability. And then if I'm back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just <laughs> yep. so got one shot in. Yep, we got shot at least once. Okay. We did like a Grandy rule. Hey, sorry to hit you with this greasy jump scare. I just wanted to quickly say that Dale was very honest and openly admitted that when there is distance between attacker and victim, you're just going to get shot if you try and fight back. So we didn't do more of these scenarios where we had distance on the victim, nor did we simulate like running away while shooting because it's the same situation, which Dale openly concedes. You will just get shot if your attacker gets distance from you or already has it. You're just going to get fucking blasted if you try and fight back. So uh, we didn't simulate more of those. Going forward, we only simulated the scenarios where the attacker was right up in the victim's nutsack. Oh, you get in there. Let's take it to the yeah, next level. Next, next step up. Let's do the one. We got 139. We have 133 million views uh, right now on this one, which is the gun is to your chest. Yeah, and what yeah, this yeah, is yeah. for is you have to get contact with them. Oh, God. You have to get contact. And you have to make sure they don't go away. Otherwise, they'll just run away from you. Or they'll pull out a gun or a knife. So you go like this, and that's how you get their stuff. You take things from them. And the other reason they do this is because they don't trust you. So they're not gonna sit there and go, empty your pockets, I trust you, I'm not gonna touch you because I'm scared you'll take my gun. Criminals are not scared you're gonna take the gun, ever. They don't believe, you can even tell them I'll take your gun. They're like, I wish you'd try, go ahead and try to take my gun. <laughs> oh wow, he got, oh I tried, I really did. <laughs> it was right here, and the guy puts the gun here, we would just walk line. True, oh shit. Oh, oh, he 
pulled the trigger with my own finger. That's he for GST. That make sure there's uh, gunshot residue on your hand, not on mine. Yep, from here. Yep. All right. Yep, you got, you're actually going to shoot. All right. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can do it. Let me try again. Ooh, shit. All right. Okay, all right, all right. And then I'm pretty much screwed. Yep, and they try to bring, if they try to bring it back, like they're trying to pull back. Yep, right. tell me what you want. What do you want me to do? Oh, uh, give me money. <laughs> I got you first, I got you first, I got you first. <laughs> <laughs> he tried though, he did try. That was close. When we run that back in slow motion, you will see that's one penguin down. We're light one penguin. You didn't even shock him a little bit. <laughs> he was ready for it, dude. He's like, I know there's a second clock there. <laughs> Flat of the back. <laughs> this is the one that we critiqued heavily, the behind the back one. I, I, feel be, like I will be genuinely surprised if I don't pull this off. Yeah, I want to be honest with you. Yeah. All right, I'm your hostage. Take me where you want to go. This is usually what you do at ATM. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> at this point, I'd be backing away. I will use my Dillman skills on that one. That one right there, I just go like that, and it would just drop. Ooh. Lucky I didn't use that on you. Uh, let's step back so I can, I can lead you somewhere. All right. All right, take me hostage. Like, grab me up so you can move me against my will. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Oh, shit. Here. Boys, I'm screwed. <laughs> There's your medulla shot right there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, tell me it was just a little harder. Yeah, Caleb, I thought you were good at this. Back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot he could fire again. <laughs> he didn't go for the eyes. <laughs> That's Caleb's eyes. Eyes popped up. <laughs> eyes in a soft way. In a, in a more realistic way, you would actually remove the eyes. So for the behind the back though, so here Caleb, okay, use the, this I guess. I feel like if you were leading someone, you'd be more behind them. So what would you do here? No, you, just, they would just run away. Just run. <laughs> They're not gonna let you do that. So a SEAL team guy told me that he did this and he would hold the person and extract it from the house like this. Because um, <clears throat> if you don't control the person, they will simply run away. Well, there's no way they survive that, though, right? Like, if you have a shotgun on someone, you run away, you're kind of fucked, right? Well, again, you would have to, number one, have the intention to shoot. True. If you are professional, you'd have to have the legal reason to shoot. Or, if you're surrounded by other officers or civilians, and the person runs, you can't shoot because you feel the fire is not clear, right? So there's lots of reasons why a professional wouldn't shoot. When a person has the person hostage in the rear, and they do take off running, they, they usually probably are getting away. Now that they go around telling people, hey, I was... You know, I ran away from someone with a gun behind me <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> right? But the reality is, it's just really hard to shoot someone moving laterally. It takes a lot of training. So the reason why you have to have contact when you have a weapon is because they will leave, or in the case of initial contact, it's because you want to risk, you want to, you want to limit what they can do. Guns, knives, they can grab a chair, they can grab a weapon, grab a brick. There's a lot of things they can do to attack you. Yeah, let me do the uh, let me do the shotgun into a tank. My eyes pretty. Let fun. me see you. <laughs> How fucked is it right now? Stop, Caleb, for us, real quick. All right, so let's do. Um, want to do, want to do third person rescue? Uh, what the hell is stopping, that? stopping an active shooter. There's the. Uh, if I try to do anything, you're gonna fire that gun. Okay. I, yeah, I gotta be honest with you. I got a mirror. You do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gotta be completely yeah. honest with you, Dale. Right. I'm, 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 I'm trying to Hey, you can see me in the mirror. Yeah. Oh, you blocked it. Yeah, the yeah there's a human <laughs> wall here. Yeah. Right. The dancing area. If I try to do anything, you're going to shoot the gun, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I think you shot yourself. Well, I tried to go like this. He was. He was really trying. He was really trying. So all you internet experts, he knew it was going to happen. He is a tough guy. This guy's actually strong and... Uh, athletic guy, a wrestler, and I'm telling you, uh, most people have been thrown onto their face with that. Just a little bit of pressure I put right there, they slammed out. Look at Caleb's eye. Like, <laughs> ready? <laughs> I'm ready when you are. <laughs> this is adorable. 
<laughs> He's going full wrestling hey, hey, mode. I'm not actually going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. Hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes so, do hurt, though. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, so in that situation, when someone does get on you, you just get through. He would have definitely got my eyes, though, for sure. Yeah. If, if he wasn't holding back in training. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah, Caleb looks like he's in more pain right now. Yeah, Caleb looks so. Well, I'm not going for eyes. Yeah. Those clips are weak. Oh, it's fine. It looks normal. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Wait, is that like. I legit think lost vision in my right eye, though. Like, I broke my right arm, so who gives a shit that I broke my left? That's what, yeah, exactly. It's the same with eyes. That's first movement. <laughs> That's good. You need to think about it. So when we do the full, the full disarm, like this. Oh, shit. It's like McGruber just throw his throat out. <laughs> Nobody is gonna have eyes. Where I just want to point out, Rex still has his eyes. I'm pissed. <laughs> Agreement prior agreement. to our arrangement, which you failed That's to do. Fine. I get it. Only criminals deserve to lose their eyes. Yeah. What's that? Let me see your taxes. <laughs> you said, so, let me see your taxes? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the IRS. You said criminal. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's a white collar criminal. Yeah. <laughs> I know you avoided taxes last year. Are you wearing this vest in real life? Do you wear this out in your. I wear this at all times. Okay. <laughs> this in, never comes off. In the shower. Shower. With your wife. I have. I have a sleeping one. With my wife. Does your wife I, have one too? Got it. Got it. I have a sleeping version. It's a softer material. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you're a criminal and you're robbing. Hey, okay, let me see your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And here. And I'm going to show you what. I, I left my finger in the sugar yard on purpose. And I'm going slow. Because I want to show this. Because it doesn't. You don't show enough of this. Yeah. So a lot of people just zip their hand out. If you leave your finger in here, this, it does work, okay? It hurts a lot. So, if we go here, push hard. This gives you leverage. So in a situation where law enforcement or a civilian has control of the barrel, the barrel of the weapon, you can control the entire gun. As long as you have this, you can control the gun. If you try to grab the hands, you can't control anything. You can actually drop back, yep. So the criminal will always have the upper hand if you grab the hands instead of grabbing the barrel. So, so in your training, do they also teach you that same thing? Because I know that you. No, they don't do that. <laughs> this is for criminals. This is okay. It, it, so no police officer is going to be like. All right. Here's the thing about what I do and what what this is for. Okay. All right. My world is completely different than everybody watching this video right now. Okay. I go into a restaurant. I know where I'm sitting, how I'm sitting, what I'm looking at. I don't sit with my back to the door. I don't put myself in any situation where I am at a extreme disadvantage. I probably wouldn't ever be in this scenario because I would be drawn before they ever come to me. And it's just that simple. However, <laughs> people don't live their lives like that. They don't live in like condition yellow. They're all like kind of walking around like nothing's the problem. That's fine. However, this is a worst case scenario Dale is absolutely correct when he tells you, hey, if somebody is threatening your life, asking you for something, material possessions, nothing is worth your life. Your credit cards, you can cancel them on your phone. They stole Give your car. phone, <laughs> who cares, okay? Give them whatever they want. If somebody is going to kill you, there is no question of material objects anymore. Now, when it comes to being in somebody's space, when he talks about like, hey man, what's up, let me talk to you real quick. This type of stuff is absolutely real. Um, I deal with it all the time. Um, stuff that he's talked about with like wound channels. I've seen people get shot in the head at point blank and live. And what shock you see people live, wasn't it? Weren't you shocked? Like, wow, how can you live with a bullet in your head? You never know. Just bullets do crazy things. Yeah. No, the, the bottom line is um, this type of scenario, um, I, I, I am a professional. I'm, I'm just going to say it. I am trained. I would never do any of this stuff. Everything that I do is verbal commands, and I'm gonna take every precaution that I can before I ever make contact with him. So this is strictly based on people with virtually no experience. All right, God, so, I hate so here's the training. All right, so when someone pulls the gun and they put it in the vehicle and 
The only reason they put it in the vehicles to, is to add emphasis and power and control over you. They could do it here, right? It's pretty scary. But this just feels so much better. Right. To put it on you. Oh yeah. And get this. I feel, feel better, better about your fear right now. Oh, I feel I'm so liking good. it. It's, it's, I'm happy about this. Right. I feel powerful right now. And then you, you feel you, <laughs> you feel very scared, like, oh my God. Now again, if you could just let him have the car, you would. Right. But you get the feeling like this guy is going to kill you or he's not gonna let you take your family with you. Like, hey, can I just get my kids? My, my child needs to be protected at all costs. My dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he plays with the computer too much, this guy. He does, he does. Your son needs I to be with you. Him off again. <laughs> he's addicted at this You point. have to keep your son with you. You should see how many Pokemon cards he buys. It's oh terrible. my God. <laughs> Do here, do here. Okay. Yep, you're in control. All right. Wait, whose kids are we? Uh, you Dale's you're, kids. You're, right. you're, Papa you're Dale, save us. You guys are stuck. Dale. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Those kids. What a Jesus. <laughs> oh, my fingers. That doesn't feel good. All right. Same so, thing. Uh, if I if I try anything, it's gonna shoot. Yeah. Oh my God. Papa <laughs> Dale. <laughs> Jesus. You <laughs> killed your. your I will your avenge heart. you, son. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. When disarming gunmen, you still need your receipt book. Yeah, seat don't break first. the law. Okay. Click it or ticket. So you don't know it's coming. Yeah. Right. No, you you got the gun on me. You're you're controlling me. Tell yeah. me go wherever you want me to go. Take me to the cup. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Middle Dale. Jimmy has a hole in him now. Right. There is absolutely nothing I can do to take that gun back. What do you want? I just want you to take me to the nearest gas station. Okay, no problem. I got. Nah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't claim that they're 100% effective anyway. It well, just gives you a best chance. Well, all you're doing is increasing, decreasing likelihood yeah. of survivability, right? Like a seatbelt, like a seatbelt. Yeah. You know, you're, you're you're increasing or decreasing. Like if you don't have a seatbelt on, you decrease survivability. Yeah. That was a lot more painful when he did it compared to when you did it, Matt. I'll tell you I'm right shocked. now. I'm shocked. I can't believe that. This stuff actually hurts. Doesn't that, that crazy? That didn't feel good at all. Yeah. Lord. When you're roaming the streets of Detroit now, do criminals see Dale and just like turn and run from whatever they're doing? They're <laughs> they like, come up like, like, hey! Like walk down the street and everyone selfie. starts fleeing. Let's get a selfie, man! <laughs> <laughs> I love your video! I stopped robbing people last month just because of you. I, I turned away from crime. Right. I'm yeah, straight yeah. and narrow now. Man! Charlie, you gotta come try these so I don't have to hold it again. <laughs> I take my shoulders out. So <laughs> no, you should come try it. You'll love it. Yeah. Oh my the God. The pain is good. It's a I'm good, never gonna... It's a good pain. Commit crime. <laughs> <laughs> I want the jet ski, Dale. The jet ski? The jet ski in the back. You can have it. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Let's Are you a convert, Charlie? Uh, I'm not, so I'm not convinced a normal person's going to pull it off that efficiently. No. But if you're going for Dale, I think he's got a good <laughs> chance. <laughs> at but, but, but you have to admit, if he's got the a basics of the mustache, leave the car alone. I think yeah. that if you <laughs> see the mustache, you know what time it is. I am, Especially the ID the earpiece. A, yeah. Yeah. If you see bone conduction. This is okay. First of all, this is not from Star Wars. This is not from Star Wars. Bone conduction is pretty sick. This is bone conduction. This is the future. Yeah, it's God. You can use it would underwater. You, would you start right? wearing this, man? Would you start wearing I don't think so. I haven't earned it. It's bone conduction. <laughs> so you're going to shoot if I try to do something. Oh, sorry, Danny. You're dead. And then uh, <laughs> we have the gun here. No, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Uh, single leg takedown, just hurting Caleb's morning. You come here to the bones and push back. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like the most important you can, thing you can do as a criminal is wear like goggles. <laughs> <laughs> you would need a helmet. I'm gonna get some steam. I'm gonna wear just a welding helmet, honestly. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we need. That'd be something like that. Yeah. So this, and I'm sure. It, so there was a viral video, and there was a guy who went to his course like, like a month ago. No, he's a demo. He demo. He didn't go to the course. He just came to. He just came for one day. Okay. So for a free class. Okay. Yeah. And then he was backing up, shooting mm -hmm. on the way. Right. So in that situation, there's not a whole lot you can do, right? So if someone's coming at you. No, no. It, so we were right here, okay? okay. And so what happens is you're the robber, and you're gonna back up, and you're gonna pull the trigger, mm -hmm. right? If I try to grab the gun. Right. Okay. So you're the robber. What do you want? I want your wife and kids. <laughs> oh my God. So it's never gonna change, and it didn't change for him. Well, that's not uh, fair. If you've seen Charlie run, we know he's not getting away. From <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's what happened in the video that you saw. Now, what you saw later, what you saw when he backed up and did that, is what he did was he went like this. First of all, he'd already tried that. And what I just did to you, right, is exactly what happened to him. I didn't, there was people in the room. So there's, there's seniors back here, there's kids over here. So we're not gonna be doing a full on, 
uh, gun disarm with, with people over your training. So we're just doing the basic, you know, gun disarm. I said, well, you know, you can back up. You're still gonna lose the weapon. So what he did was he backed up on the second one and then they, he shot like right here and then I went in and took the gun from him. He edited the, the film so that part's not there. So it just shows like he goes like this, boom, on the second one and then it cuts. Because I feel like, it, and I've said this before too, here, we'll do it this way. If, well, no, no, you can face no. me. Like if, <laughs> so if I'm a criminal and I'm like super anti, super trigger happy, if I'm mm -hmm. just faster and I see you move and I am You can't see me move. You just saw it. Look, look, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Do it again. Well, hold on. Not on me, though, because that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> they can't look faster. They're probably more efficient, I think. My, 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 my <laughs> argument is my action is a lot smaller than your action. Right. And that's, so I, but, have, I you, have an increased you, percentage. Right. You think that. possible. Not possible. Watch. Put it up there. So what you're, what, what you're doing right now is you're concentrating on what? Shooting you. Because <laughs> right. I, I intend to kill you. <laughs> yeah. So that's not going to happen. Is it done? Right. And so now I'm anticipating you're trying to pull back instead of actually rob me or something, mm -hmm. which that's what this is for. And so from here, it wouldn't matter. Hey, Charlie from the future here. This is one of those situations where I feel like I just wasn't fast enough, nor was Caleb to actually make it work. This is one of those situations I feel is quite unrealistic, where you're assuming the victim is as fast as Dale whereas the attacker could very well be able to react to your movement. The guy in the video is a jiu-jitsu student, so he's already pretty trained, so he's definitely got quicker reaction speed than we do, and I feel like this would always happen if you were just going up against someone faster, where they can just back up and pull the gun away, as it happened in that video. And there's nothing you can do, you're just chasing them, getting shot the whole time. So one of the things, reasons why people say, well, they'll say things like, oh, I can use the other hand. Okay, now that's true, except uh, when a person has a weapon, they really believe in the weapon. So that's why you hear, you don't really see people have a pistol and go, oh, oh. they good. Because they're not smart. They're good. I'm 6'2", that's a good kick. That was a good kick. That was nuts. <laughs> they can come up and go, that's a good kick. Oh, I kick you in the face. Okay. Right? But right. in reality, guess what? Right? They, they, they could. They could come up and start with a pistol here. Like, right? But in reality, <laughs> so I have a scenario for you, Dale. I want, I want you to role play with me right now. Mm -hmm. All right, you're out with your wife. You went to Troy. You went, you're in Somerset Mall. Okay. You just went shopping. You had a great time. Yeah, you know this area. Yeah, of course. And I'm an armed assailant. I got <laughs> How are you gonna disarm me? I uh, with my side. Goes over and grabs Where's a gun. <laughs> you gotta grab a gun. Yeah. Are you guys perhaps in a sewer with a rat? <laughs> <laughs> And some yeah. mutant turtles by any chance. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna do? Are you my gonna brothers know that I have the, the shell, and they would come and rescue me. You have a side. Where'd you get the side from? It's Detroit. Detroit. I always have a side. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said he knew Detroit. <laughs> Everyone has these. Yeah. Give me your side, Dale. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn it! The only way to beat nunchucks. <laughs> oh yeah, these are um, are these are these legal here? I, That's a good question, actually. Oh, oh, shit! Whoa! Oh. 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 Well, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> you know, when we bought them, I thought there was a 90% chance this was going to happen. Yeah. Really, I really did. Where the fuck has this been, Dale? <laughs> 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 I see them on the website? No! It's on his second channel, How to Defend Yourself in Feudal Area, uh, <laughs> Japan. <laughs> you are in Feudal Japan or China? Here, we have something for you. <laughs> You're just going to impress the criminal away. <laughs> oh, that works. Really. No, seriously. You so you wanted my wallet, do you? <laughs> Looks just like me. We're like twins. <laughs> really appreciate you coming down, man, and really hurting Caleb and myself. That was good. Thank you. It was great training. I think, it was, I think it was really beneficial for Caleb. I'm feeling good. <laughs> it's tactical. It's tactical. I would say it was very tactical overall. I learned a lot of new things. Again. And he also learned <laughs> the gun disarms worked. Unironically, that was a lot more effective than I expected it to be, for sure. I think you would be the worst target to rob now. So if I ever turn to a life... And now he is the worst target to rob now that he's been trained. Yeah. But especially him. Especially I can him. tell. Him. Yeah, this guy's nuts now. If, always, I can, if I can see it. Thanks again. Right. I really do yeah, appreciate thank you, it. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity, guys. Of course.